Hello. Hi, is everyone doing today? I'm doing pretty good for it to be a Friday because I have to go to work. My eyes are small and I'm tired, so I think that eyelash is messing up over there. But anywho, that's not why I'm on here. Today's video, I want to talk about, I've, I've already talked about how to save money at the pump, how to save money at the grocery store. So now I want to talk about how to save money within your home, okay? So some of the things that you can do is, if you don't watch a lot of TV, instead of paying full price for cable, why don't you just get the internet, especially if you have a smart TV, and I'm sure most people do, and then you can watch, um, do a lot of streaming online, so then you wouldn't be paying a high price for cable and internet. You would just be paying for the internet, and you can get, like, Peacock is a free app. They have good movies on there. You can get Tubi. You can get Crackle. Uh, it's a it's a it's a bunch. You can get a bunch more for free, and you can just pay for the internet. So that'll save you some money. Another thing is, if say like it's three people live in your house. I'm gonna say three because this what lives in my house. But I have a three bedroom house. Therefore, that means that there's one room that's not being used. And when I say use, it means that don't nobody reside in it. Nobody's staying in that room. So what I do is I go in that room and I unplug all of the electrical appliances in that room because even though the TV might not be on or something like that, it's still sucking electricity, okay? Or say, sometimes this right here could be like a little hassle, but just say, that you don't do laundry but once a week say every saturday is your laundry day okay then unplug the washer and dryer unplug your toaster your microwave uh any other of those electric appliances in your kitchen your your can opener unplug those things that you're not using you know, and just keep your refrigerator, a deep freezer, a stove, you know, keep those items plugged up. But unplug the rest of them and just plug them up as you need it. Because like I said, even though it's not on, like you using it, it's still sucking electricity. Still, yeah. You can do that. Um, I know they said that gas is going to be uh, real high this year. So... I'm not looking forward to that in the gas bill. But what you can do as well, like we have central air and heat. So what I do is I set the central air on like 63 to 65. And the only reason I do that is because we have upstairs and downstairs and the heat rises to the top. But we really don't need the heat on top. We need the heat on the bottom like the living room the kitchen the dining room those type areas so i just turn it on like 63 and i have one of those electric fireplace heaters and i plug it on and i put it on 70. and that way when the temperature starts to drop then one or the other will come on but whichever one comes on it doesn't stay on long it stays on long enough to knock the chill out of the room. You know, we don't want to walk from upstairs downstairs and be freezing, right? So you can do that. And we also have some of those, uh, one of those fireplace heaters in the bedroom. That's why we really don't need the heat. The central air unit turned up to like 70 or higher because all that heat's going to rise up there. But we don't need it because we already have the fireplace heater in the bedroom and we can set the, the thermostat on that and it can cut on and off as need be to warm that room so that'll save us money on the gas bill and i know you're saying well you're saving on the gas bill 
but what about the electric bill? Well, I'm on a budget. I don't know if they offer that where you live, but I've always been on a budget ever since I've been an adult with my power. So if I'm saving money on my gas bill and my power bill is gonna run the same because we was running air conditioners, okay? Then I can afford to pay the power bill because I'm not paying a lot on the gas bill. It's different if I'm paying a high gas bill and a high electric bill, then guess what, Houston, we have a problem. We have a problem. I know every time I get on here, my lips about dry. And I don't know what to say. And now that I'm looking in this camera, like seriously, um, this eye right here has a stigmatism. So when I wear um, contacts, I only have to wear a contact in this eye right here. And it, that's probably why if you look at my eyes, I don't have a lazy eye or nothing like that. That's why this eye looks lower than this eye is because the shape of this eye is way more slanted than the shape of this eye. This one is slanted, but this one right here is really slanted. And when I be getting my lashes on, I be thinking that they're not putting this one on right. But they are, they're putting it on according to the shape of this eye. Even though you got two eyes and stuff like that, two hands, two feet, two elbows stuff like that doesn't mean that they are identical they're not identical they are fraternal twins not identical twins so that's why this this one looks lower is because this eye has the stigmatism in it and it's the way it is shaped i don't know i was born like that but my eye isn't lazy see Okay. Okay. So let me see if there's anything else I could tell you about how to save money. Oh yeah. Which we don't do that. You could always save on your water bill, but by getting a glass of water and having it in the bathroom, so when you brush your teeth, you can rinse with the water versus running the faucet. Or you can turn the faucet off and use it as you need to rinse your mouth or your toothbrush but who does that i just let it run like seriously but i just want to tell you guys i appreciate you all so much for being a part of my youtube family um please 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 uh tell somebody everybody tell one person about my channel so y'all can come over and support and i did want to tell y'all something too what I'm going to do, I don't know if I'm going to have time to do it today because I was off work earlier, but I have to go to work later. And school is getting out, so I have to pick Jackson up at 1 o'clock, so it's like 12.40. But I'm gonna, I told y'all I was going to do some skits, right? So I'm, my skits are going to be like uh, grandma-type skits, okay? Uh, I don't know if her name should be Grandma, Grandma Mammy or grandma with the thick lips hmm? so comment down below in this video and tell me which one you think it should be grandma mammy or grandma with the thick lips and i'm gonna i'm gonna do my best to introduce her to you guys i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do it today because like i said school's getting out early and once i pick jackson up he has to go get a haircut and then I'm pretty sure by the time we get done at the barbershop, it'll be time for your girl to go to work. So, just let me know which one of those names you guys like. And, um, I'm just going to call her Grandma Mammy right now. Grandma Mammy got some for y'all. Yes. Yeah, she said she been watching um, the two hands up, eat them up. And she want to show y'all how to do that. I know that's going to be hilarious. Because... She got old knees. But y'all just stay tuned and I'm going to bring that to you. Hopefully in the next video. I just wanted to get on here and go over how to save money on the inside of your house, outside of your gas and your food. 
things that you can do to help you save money in this uh, tough economy. But, and then I want to introduce y'all to bringing on Grandma. If I don't get any comments on about what her name should be, Grandma Mammy or Grandma with the Thick Lips, then I'm just going to pick one and then there you have it. So I hope everybody has a blessed Friday. Y'all be safe and until next time, deuces.